What is going on everybody? It's Captain Blue Shell coming to you guys today to celebrate the release. Guys, Lost Ark to the West with the North American server still waiting uh, for the uh, the server. <laughs> it's uh, basically Q Simulator 2022, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a long wait, but definitely worth it. And if you guys hear something weird in the background, it's because I'm also watching Twitch uh, to get my drops from people that are actually being paid to uh, play a game that they've never played before and probably don't care. But uh, speaking of people that do care, <laughs> check out my videos and my... <laughs> Yes, I make Lost Ark content. Yes, I have been making Lost Ark content. Do I get to do the drops? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's all right, guys. We don't need that. We've got each other. This community is absolutely freaking amazing, and I love you guys. And so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Kind of check and see. I'm looking for kind of similarities, differences with, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the West uh, version Lost Ark. I know that the uh, there's a lot of voice acting and everything going into this. Uh, the characters' voices, uh, the updated, uh, you know, captions too as well. That's something to look forward to. Also, the class names. <laughs> I kind of have to relearn them uh, because, you know, when somebody, uh, you know, differentiates, it's like, you know, artillerist. I'm like, what? Like, what even is that? <laughs> At least sorceress has stayed the same. And unfortunately, we do not get to pick our main of a destroyer. But like I said in my previous video... Uh, we are going to be going Berserker. Um, I just kind of want something, you know, simple, straight and to the point. I want to just smash things, you know, <laughs> especially with this wait time. This wait time for the server is just making me want to smash everything. <laughs> Speaking of smashing, we are less than 50 away for the server. So I'm super excited to get into this with you guys. Let's go ahead and check and see what it has to offer with the Western release. Here we go. Are you ready for the adventure? Stick around. It's Captain Blue Shell. Well, 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. We're in. We are actually in. We made it in. Ladies and gentlemen, so freaking cool that we made it. Like, <laughs> the game started. <laughs> we won. Now, I forget in the West because with Mage, we have uh, the, uh, the board or the bard. <laughs> <laughs> the board is <laughs> no the bard is not boring okay it's not we've also got sorceress and i know that there was one more in the uh, the russian server i think it was the summoner if i do believe and so we're missing out on that but we do have the sorceress so that's good martial artist with the male we have striker uh with the female we have the war dancer scrapper and soul fist okay uh, with the gunner again, uh, we've got sharpshooter, dead eye, and artillerist. I forgot that we actually are missing out on the scouter, so that's kind of interesting. So scouter, destroyer, and summoner are going to be coming out. I guess that they're going to be doing it every like two or three months that they'll be releasing them. And it's basically to go ahead and just refresh it, you know, kind of refresh the classes and be like, oh, this is coming, you can try this out. And then two more months, oh, this is coming, you gotta try this one out. It sucks for me because I just, <laughs> I just want my destroyer. But, um, I understand. I, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, and I maybe even be making a clip of this, I would say the order that they would do it in, because they haven't released the order yet, I would say it would be... Summoner, and then Scouter, and then Destroyer. I think Destroyer is going to be last. I, I, I can pretty much guarantee you Destroyer is going to be coming out last, but it is what it is. And no new classes that we know of. It's all basically just the same classes, different names uh, that we're usually used to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still, you know, pretty much decided on Berserker. Um, because it reminds me just so much of, uh, you know, my destroyer. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead. Uh, let's, you know, let's get right into it. Let's do the customization, guys. Now, there is a way for you to actually save the presets, uh, from the, the Russian server or Korean server. Uh, basically, you put it in as a game file, and then you load up the game file into here to go ahead and basically make it, um, as you had it. I probably should have done that. But being that it's Berserker and, you know, it's a new play style, everything new and fresh for us, 
Uh, we'll go ahead and just make it from scratch, so on we go. I'm not going to make it the same as my destroyer, though. I am going to hold out and kind of keep it special for when that time comes. So we're going to go ahead and go with a kind of a different armor base, uh, which is going to be this gold one instead of the, uh, the silver and black one, because I'm just, I'm so used to that, of just having it for my character, which just reminds me of the destroyer. So let's go ahead and do our berserker and do it unique and a different little style here. Let's go ahead and check out the hair too as well, shall we? I didn't really like that background to be honest with you. I couldn't really even see the hair. Um, so let's go ahead and pick our hair for a berserker. So it's gotta be some kind of wild, crazy man, right? I mean, we're, we're thinking of like a wild haircut. That's a pretty wild haircut. That's pretty crazy and wild. I know that we get to go ahead and edit every single thing now as to uh, what we want, and that's pretty cool. I kind of like the red eyes, I'm gonna keep it. What if I made his hair red, just to kind of like mix things up? Like it's gonna be like this bad A guy with like red hair as a berserker. I actually kind of, I actually kind of love that. That looks like uh, the mascot for Wendy's. Uh, so if it's fast food, this is the guy you're gonna see when you come up to the drive-thru, it's gonna be great. And also joining us tonight on our show, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jessica Rabbit. And we also have Pippi Longstockings. We got this style. That doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. You know what? Actually, I think we might... I think we might go ahead and pick this. I might put the brightness just a little bit down more. Just a little bit. There we go. I kind of like that. It's different. It's crazy. And when you look at him, you're like, Oh my god, that's a berserker. Like, it truly is, right? I'm gonna give him some crazy looking eyeballs. There we go. And what kind of berserker would it be without the, uh, the tattoos? You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and get some tattoos on our bad A berserker here. I'm gonna go ahead and tone this down a little bit with the red. And then we'll go ahead and kind of make it a little bit as like a darker red. Not to out, you know, not to off put the uh, the hair or anything, the color of the hair. I think that'll actually work out really, th that actually looks good. I'm actually happy with that. What would be a good name for a berserker? I know if it's something original, unique, Bob. And it's already taken. What about destroyer of world? Is that, uh, is that taken? <laughs> it's not taken. <laughs> yes, we want to take that destroyer of world. I was going to put Destroyer of Worlds, but, you know, this is this is going to be as good as it gets. So there we go. All right, cool. There we go, guys. We made our character, and there he is, basking in the sunlight of glory and of victory already. So let's go ahead and get this underway. Um, we all know the story. We all know how to play uh, on this channel. I hope so as of now. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, and let's just go full blast. Here we go, guys. So, basically, as we know, as we've done it before, uh, we get to go ahead and choose our class and uh, just kind of, you know, mess around with everything, even though there's only three classes to choose from. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to look at the Berserker just real quick together before we start the main story. Uh, just to make sure, you know, that that's exactly what we want to go for. Are we ready for this to go and touch the Book of Secrets? Or should I say the Book of Prophecies? Same thing. Let's go ahead, take a quick look into Berserker uh, real fast. And just go ahead and kind of get our bearings down and straight. It's such cool armor. Like it truly is. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of refresh my memory with everything. Alright, so that's going to be kind of a quick attack. That one's a bigger attack. That one's a big old freaking lunge. That's so cool. I love Whirlwind, man. I love that you can just move so effortlessly with it. Like, it's just, it, it's like a ballet of death. It truly is. Alright, here we go with this one again, too. Let's hold it and booyah, baby. Holy crap. All right, just a uh, quick test here, but uh, all is good, all is well. Let's go ahead and get right into the storyline, and I'm super looking forward to these uh, these voice actors too as well, man. We got Berserker for the long run. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Woo! Look at us and our bad self, and our very first sword, which is like twice as tall as we are the guy i mean what can i say man the guy works out all right here we go guys are you ready for the elevator of magicalness in the quest for the ark 
There she goes. Okay. I, I kind of like... I like the voice acting because it's not something that I'm like really used to. You know, I'm not used to hearing their voices to narrate what's going on with the story, so... Super excited. It's our guy with the beard again. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Up here, there are flight. We better get moving. Huh? Go where? To meet old friends. After five hundred years of waiting, the stars of destiny <laughs> call to us. I've had people say that he looks just like a lalafel. <laughs> he does. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Look alive, scrubs. Ooh. We're here. That's a, that's a real looking like pirate guy. We can see our tattoos through our helmet too as well. And here we go, guys. The epic scene. The epic lost arc scene. Yeah, you run up to the bow of that ship, boy. Nice. Stop Trua, the forgotten land. It's so cool, man. It's so freaking cool looking. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, we're getting off the boat, and these guys are new. Yeah, these... The, the people that we're getting off with... I'm pretty sure that these are, like, new characters that we're getting off with, though, too. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just skip the prologue. It, it's fine. I mean, I'm sure that we're going to go ahead and outgrow this item in just a little bit. So we'll go ahead and skip the prologue. We know what's coming, and basically I just want to go ahead and kind of get this show on the road uh, to kind of get my character leveled up. So we'll go ahead and do that, and we are in it to win it with Runa Pass, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. It's super weird starting this out without having a mount. Like, I'm just so... <laughs> it's showing me how to extend my map, even though I just did it. Um, yeah, like, I'm so used to just getting on my mount and riding on through... <laughs> <laughs> to hear, but that's okay. It's all right. I like the voice. The voices actually match the characters really well. Oh, priest fight! Priest fight! Oh, wait, there's a whole group of them. Never mind. I thought we were gonna, like, wager on what, pe you know, priest is, like, gonna win or whatever. All right, here we go. Our berserker into our very first action, and they're dead. <laughs> there we go with that whirlwind. Heck yeah, baby. And we got a little flying falcon there. It's just absolutely, it's just absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get a uh, seat in the wagon. Let's go for a ride. This scene is a little bit different too, from what I understand. I just, um, you know, I mean, I hope that nothing goes wrong. I hope nothing comes, you know, comes out of the blue or anything. That would just suck, you know. But Lost Ark is a very peaceful game. No enemies, no and bandits or anything hiding, like, up here on the cliff or anything, so that's great. What? It's gonna be good, a just a normal carriage Perhaps ride. It's gonna be fine. Together and see. And it, oh, oh my god, oh, bandits, oh my god. How did, how did I know? I, <laughs> brand new release, ladies and gentlemen. How could have I have known? I don't even know. But I really like this horse. I mean, I've really come to love this horse. I don't know what would happen. I don't know what... I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I'd do if anything bad were to ever happen to this horse. I'm just glad that we have it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, my horse. Oh, my God. It's dead. It died. And now I'm, like, I'm super depressed. But we got to go help our friend in need. I'll help you for five silver, buddy. Five silver. You promise to get... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's just give him... Let's just give him our hand. Let's give the guy a hand. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and walk this way. I mean, I'm just hoping that there aren't any enemies this way or anything. That would just suck. Oh my God, enemies! What? Oh, jeez, Louise. This game, guys. Let's uh, let's check and see what the berserker has to offer here. Nope. Just go ahead that way. There you go. There you go, buddy. Good job, man. Good job, buddy, man. That was a complete miss. I wonder what our regular attacks are like. Just like the regular. It's not bad. Our bar is like slowly, slowly getting some energy there. That's gonna take some time to get used to though too as well. 
because you know like with destroyer obviously it was the gravitational pull it was like the gravitational field thing I absolutely love that thing though too this is just basically a simple bar as soon as it reaches up boom we go into berserker mode and we go crazy on their butts and as we enter into the town of course we got to go to the uh, what is it the sanctuary the cathedral something like that there we go let's go ahead and go on in and uh, I mean nothing can stop us except for a crowd of innocent bystander people give me through so no enemy can stop us but when it comes to a crowd of people we're just we got no answer and there they go the sea of people letting us through the one thing that can stop us in this game regular ordinary people i know we get like an extra something if we do all the cutscenes and all of the uh you know watching all of the short films and scenes and everything but I mean, really, who's got time for that? I mean, come on. All right, so we went ahead. We got our login event. I really want to see how many characters are in this city. So let's go ahead and take a look. Holy crap. Oh, my God, man. I have... Jeez Louise. And it's like, it's like stuttering, too. I am lagging, man. Are you guys seeing this? I have never seen this many people ever like in a city just here this is <laughs> this is absolutely mind-blowing man i mean just like so much is going on with just so many people like everywhere this is absolutely this is actually kind of cool i like how they kind of give you these pop-up bubbles though too it's kind of like uh you know you get your mount uh, just complete the main quest and then continue and then you know register the mount that's actually kind of cool i like that i dig it choose whichever one you like really so you're telling me that this early in the story we actually get our mount now because it was always you know you would always do a few quests and everything and it wasn't until like the forest that we would get our mount so this is super super early i'm really not used to this at all i'm gonna go ahead um yeah we'll start off with the white horse that's fine i mean like on the other region you know i've got i've already got all three color to the horses but i really like the white horse it looks kind of cool but yeah that's just i mean it's just so 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 stinking early you know what i mean i mean i don't think that we've even you know gained one level yet and already we're like riding on a horse this is just Super, super, super crazy. I'm going to go ahead and assign it to the uh, the button that I'm used to. Lucky number nine. And there we go with our mount. And I know everybody is like, oh, it's my first mount. Oh, look at this. It's my horse. It's a, it's a mount. And plus they're getting paid to play the game. <laughs> Open the guild menu to start or join a guild already? Are you? What? That is crazy, man. Everything is hitting super early, man. Everything. Like, it's just like, this is a lot. <laughs> like, this is a lot to take in just on the first level. So, I know people are, like, freaking out because they're like, Oh, I get a mount. Oh, I get a guild. Oh, <laughs> a thousand silver. So, it looks like it's 2,000 silver to start a guild. I mean, that's not bad. It's not a bad price at all. But, uh, I want you guys to go ahead and look at the, uh, the chat over here, too. It's actually showing that people are like already recruiting and everything, of course, because why not? I'm just so not used to that. I'm so used to, I'm so not used to people actively, you know, going in actual chat because it's always been a ghost town to where I've been in the other regions. So this is something completely different. All right, guys. So we just got our mount. So that's something <laughs> like I was actually like prepare to wait like you know 15 20 minutes to actually ride through the forests okay i mean it's it's really weird it's like i mean we're giving the na servers everything they could they could dream of so i really i really i really hope you guys are appreciative of it oh look at this oh check this out man they've got like a little walkthrough of the whole town and the village all of the uh, the farmers and everything too the cathedral this is actually really cool i'm actually enjoying this i don't think i don't think people in the west realize exactly how easy and how great that they actually have it man oh look at this we got a heroic founder and a crystal benefactor 
You know what? Two people can play at that game. I'll be honest with you guys. I was not sure I was going to go ahead and redeem my Founders Pack only because I kind of wanted to wait and see, you know, if I could actually do that with Destroyer. But being that if Destroyer comes out, they're probably not going to have this anymore. It's understandable. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to go ahead and get the items. But also, too, since we already have our mount. I want to go ahead and see if they just kind of automatically give us our mount or if we needed to go ahead and do that beforehand. I've got <laughs> I've got so many questions. And so with that, let's go ahead and open up our uh, platinum uh, founders pack. I'm going to go ahead. Yes. Clean that item character slot extension. We've got it. Wonderful. Absolutely awesome. And it is loading down here. Let's see what it has to offer us. I just want to know if it actually worked and if everything refreshed. We got it. We got it. Yes, it's the Platinum Founders Pack. So since we already have our mount, I'm going to go ahead and check and see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the Cerebus because all of our mounts are account wide anyway. So it's not like it's just going to be one, you know, character or anything like that. All right, guys, there we go. We have it opened up. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the, uh, the Cerebus. We've got the white. We've got the, I believe that's like gray, blue, black, oh crap, brown, blue, and red. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's walk around real quick and see if we can find uh, the, the different colors of that mount. I mean, they have to be here. So that's what the black one's going to look like, right? So it's kind of like, it's dark, it's creepy, it's scary. But at the same time, it's kind of cool. I kind of don't like it because it kind of blends in with everything else. Because if something's coming towards you and you're like, what is that? You know, it's like an opaque object and you're not really sure. It's not really, it doesn't have that flair. You know what I mean? It's amazing how many people actually have the, uh, the Platinum Founders Pack. Because I've been seeing them out like for a little while now. And uh, people have just been, I mean, there are just so many people in this one area it's ridiculous and there we go there is the uh, there's the red one i really want to take a look at the red oh my god it's just so red like it's red red like it's like blood rain red let me get a better look at it real quick holy crap i mean that like really pops it really stands out with the red um i mean since my guy has red hair and since i mean but also too i don't know because later on if we have another character and we're like, maybe we like this better, and then we'll get on the mount too, it's such a hard decision. <laughs> let's go out here, and let's take a look into uh, Log Hill. You know what I haven't seen a lot of is the blue one. I don't know why, I just, I haven't seen very many, you know, three-headed blue wolf mounts. For some weird reason, like, blue is like, I don't think I've seen one so far, to be honest with you. I don't think we're going to be able to find it here, but this is nice because it's kind of like, it brings me kind of back to the other region because it's just so scarce. There's not as many people here. It's, it feels good. So let's take a look here, a little preview. Uh, we, we've seen the red one and that's like, it's super, super red. So there are two blues that we can choose from. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the dark blue or perhaps the um the ice like light blue i don't know these are just kind of like kind of weird to be honest with you the white one doesn't look too bad because it's like a northern kind of wolf but the gray we might actually just go gray like standard gray and i'll tell you why it's because no matter what character we choose later on or whatever alt uh that we keep you know leveling up it's gonna match everything so I'm actually really thinking of doing the gray. Yeah, I mean, I was going to go blue, but now looking at it, I can kind of see why nobody <laughs> nobody took the blue. All right, we, we'll do that. We'll go ahead and go for the gray. I just hope that we... So that's the black. That's the ice blue. This is the gray. And I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with the gray, and that's cool. So I'm, I'm good. And then... Oh, okay. So basically, we can go ahead and use that now. All right, let's go ahead and check and see what it actually looks like, guys. I'm I, like, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and actually put this over that one, and we will go ahead and call in our wolf, guys. Here we go. Oh, snap. That actually... That actually... I, I like that. It's nice. It actually kind of pops. Because it matches our armor, it matches kind of the style of everything. It's not like, you know, like the, just the black or white one. It's kind of like the in-between gray. I like it. I really do. I think it's a good decision, so I'm happy. Oh, this is cool. It's even got like its own special abilities. That's super crazy. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, with the flames too? That is super, super awesome, man. I really like that. Ooh, buddy. That thing is super evil. I love it, man. Yeah, see, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. I think that I, I really do think that my silver one looks a little bit better than the, uh, you know, than the black one. It's just like, it's got more color, it's got more, like, details and everything with it. I really like it. I feel, I feel like I'm back in, like, Warcraft to where I'm just, like, stancing. <laughs> you know, we're just, like, sitting here with our, like, our epic mount just for everybody to look at. It's so in vain, man. It is so in vain. Like, like, no joke. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so far with everything with the pack, there are things that I am gonna be keeping with my Founder's Pack, uh, on me with my character. Because I want to kind of check and see. I know that they're untradeable and everything like that. But I want to be sure of the ones that are account bound. Which aren't account bound. To just kind of get a whole list of them. Yeah, I mean, what can I say, guys? So far, absolutely awesome release. Uh, so many people. So many things to see. So much to do. And it is a little bit different. Uh, it is. It caught me off guard with getting them out so early in the game. Uh, also, too, with the uh, the guild option as well. And uh, I hope that the uh, the story is, you know, the same. I hope it kind of goes, you know, as normal from this point on. Uh, I am going to go ahead and be opening uh, the rest of my items uh, for that. I'm going to go ahead and make a video of me opening uh, everything too as well. So uh, definitely follow, like, subscribe for that video. I'll see you on the next beautiful Lost Ark Adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out.